Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we have some groundbreaking news from the world of military technology. BAE Systems, in collaboration with Malloy Aeronautics, has achieved something truly remarkable. They've used the BAE T-600 heavy lift drone to deploy an anti-submarine torpedo for the very first time. Stick around as we delve into the details of this historic achievement. But before we dive into the specifics, let's take a quick look at the star of the show, the BAE T-600 drone. At first glance, it may appear to be a quadcopter drone for filming, but it's much more than that. This electric-powered aircraft is about the size of a compact car, making it a formidable piece of technology. It's designed primarily for demonstration purposes but boasts some impressive specs. It can carry a payload of up to 441 pounds, has a top speed of 87 miles per hour, and a range of up to 50 miles. Now, let's get to the main event. During a recent NATO exercise off the coast of Portugal, the T-600 drone made history by dropping an inert sting ray training torpedo. This marks the first time a drone has ever deployed such a weapon as part of a sea mission. The primary goal here was to showcase the T-600's anti-submarine warfare capabilities and explore its potential for automated logistics, resupply, casualty evacuation, and other tasks. We had the opportunity to speak with Neil Appleton, head of sustainable electric products at BAE Systems Air, who shared his thoughts on this groundbreaking demonstration. Neil Appleton said the following, In just two years since we launched our collaboration with Malloy, we've developed a heavy lift UAS and, working with the UK Royal Navy and Portuguese Navy, have taken part in the latest NATO RepMIS exercise. The demonstration showcased the capability of our T-600 technology demonstrator, carrying an inert sting ray torpedo in front of the world's premier naval forces. This achievement isn't just a one-time spectacle. BAA Systems plans to use the T-600 as the foundation for the T-650, a heavy-lift UAS that is entirely electric and can be quickly reconfigured for various military, commercial, and humanitarian missions. This drone represents a significant advancement in the world of uncrewed aircraft systems. Dave Quick, head of underwater weapons at BAE Systems Maritime Services, highlighted the importance of this development for anti-submarine warfare. Dave Quick said the following, Uncrewed aircraft systems, UAS, can be quick to launch and easy to carry. They represent another opportunity to keep higher-cost assets and crew out of harm's way. They will have an increasing ASW role alongside crewed helicopters and dedicated ASW surface vessels. UAS-launched Stingray would enable torpedo capability to be carried by various naval platforms, providing increased operational flexibility for using Stingray. Oriol Badia, CEO of Malloy Aeronautics, emphasized the speed at which this project went from concept to operational demonstrator. Oriol Badia said the following, At Malloy Aeronautics, we are committed to quickly turning concept ideas into real capabilities. Our smaller T-150 UAS has been tested and operated by the UK MOD and USDOD for years. Still, the T-600 has gone from concept to operational demonstrator in record time for a vehicle in this payload class. This achievement with the BAE T-600 drone marks a significant milestone in military technology and anti-submarine warfare. It opens up new possibilities for unmanned aircraft in naval operations and showcases the remarkable collaboration between BAE Systems and Malloy Aeronautics. That's all for today's video. If you found this news as fascinating as we did, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more exciting tech updates. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.